Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I know I never come to you with a full face on. I did actually film an intro before I did all of this, but I was clearing my memory card and I accidentally deleted it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film an intro again now. So hi, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually doing something that you guys have really heavily requested. And I believe this was started by Thomas Halbert, who is another YouTuber here on YouTube, obviously. And it's following along with a YouTuber's makeup tutorial. So he did Jeffree Star. I'm gonna switch it up and do Manny MUA. I have obviously been following Manny for about three and a half years I've watched pretty much every Manny tutorial and I followed a lot of Manny's old tutorials when I was learning how to do makeup So this is like putting practice to the test So the look I decided to recreate was his easy AF summer makeup tutorial and this was actually posted July last year But I really really like this look I love anything like super bronzy with a bright ass red lip me and Manny have very, very different styles of makeup and very different application techniques. So this was very, very interesting to say the least. And in honor of Manny, if you do not like him, if you do not like me, if you don't like this video, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you do enjoy it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really hope you guys enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to film. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so first things first, I am very oily, you guys know this. Okay, so Manny is very oily, I am not <laughs> very oily at all. In fact, my skin is very, very dry. So we're gonna take a little bit of the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. So instead of going in with the Makeup Forever Primer, I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I love this stuff, you guys know. Mostly in the T-zone, just to cover up the porous areas. I typically prefer applying this with a brush, but Manny applied it with his finger, so I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. And he said it's going everywhere, but mainly in the t-zone because that's where he gets more oily mommy's a man so she has some pores <laughs> i'm with you and then i'm actually gonna mix it to give it more of a glowy finish i'm gonna take the la mer soft liquid fluid you do not have to use this as an expensive ass foundation no nope, i'm gonna use it so manny took the hourglass vanish stick i think that's what it's called yeah the vanish stick and the la mer i have both so i'm gonna use both like he did come on following along so exactly the same as manny did i'm gonna focus this more on my cheeks this <laughs> this is a lot brighter than my skin and i think the limit is actually a little bit darker, so that's good. But this will give us like a highlighted effect anyway. On Morphe M439. So I don't actually have an M439 available. I have like two or three. I just have no idea. Where oh, wait. Oh my god. Okay, so I found a Y7, which I think is basically the same. If you need me for reference, which probably for this foundation you shouldn't, I'm in the shade Blanc in the Hourglass, and I'm in the shade Porcelain 01 in the Le Mer. Now Manny does just go ahead and take this on a brush, the M439, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I normally prefer using a sponge and as you can see the coverage is still high but the finish is starting to look a little bit more natural and a lot more pretty i literally hate applying foundations with a brush i don't know maybe it works if your skin's a little bit more oily but mine is not i feel like going in with a brush with foundation just emphasizes my texture and kind of picks up all of like my dry patches i fucking hate using brushes so much you okay, guys now we're going in with the tarte shape tape concealer yep yeah, so next we're going to go in with shape tape concealer manny takes this just under his eyes and basically like all over his t-zone so then I'm going to blend that out with the sponge. I don't have that big, like, pimple brick that Manny does. So I'm just going to use my favourite Morphe sponge. Guys, by the way, um, so Axis Hollywood is actually here. Same. So Axis Hollywood is just over there. I'm going to take a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder and set underneath my eyes. So I'm also just gonna go in with the RCMA powder. This is one of my favorite powders of life. And I believe I'm taking it on the same brush as Manny. Not quite sure. Again, this just goes to show we are so, so different when it comes to makeup. I am dying to pick up a beauty blender and set under my eyes with powder. I really, really, really hate setting under my eyes with a brush. Unless I, like, absolutely have to. I have to set on these smile lines. I don't have any. A little bit on the sides of the nose and a touch on the tip of it. My chin and my forehead. Center my forehead specifically. There is now the most enormous dry patch right there. And all across here. Which is great. I'm having a fabulous day. Oh, and here. How could I miss that one? Now I'm going to take the Medium Golden MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So I don't have that. What I'm going to take instead is the Buxom Bronzer. This is in the shade Tahiti. I think this is going to go ho horribly wrong. But I'm just going to pick that up on just a huge ass E41 brush. Oh, Lord, say a prayer for me. So we're going to go ahead and just put that into the perimeters of the face. Wicked. It doesn't smell very nice. 
I've never actually done this where I lay down a bronzer or anything without setting my entire face. So I'm kind of keen to see how this turns out. Hollows of my cheeks. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Tan Tastic Bronzer on that same Morphe E2. So I do not actually have the Marc Jacobs Bronzer, so I'm just gonna take the Elsie Bronzer, which I used in my last video, I believe. Uh, I thought this was a really beautiful bronzer, so I'm gonna use it now. I do have an E2 brush. I just, again, don't know where it is. I feel like him and the M439 just f***ed off somewhere and I just can't find them. So I'm just gonna use that same E41 that I just used. So I'm actually kind of shook right now at how much I like this. Not the skin, like my skin is actually very, very dry right now, but just the bronzer on top of wet foundation. Kind of in love with it. Now I'm going to take the Apricot in the Middle blush by Wet n Wild. I also do not have those two blushes, so I'm instead going to take Mango Tango. What the f*** is this shit called? Let's Dance Mango Tango by Mislin and Luminoso by Milani. Just because Manny said that the blush he used has a little bit of a sheen, so I'm just going to mix these two because this is matte. And this has a sheen. On a Morphe E4. My E4 is currently coated in contour so i'm instead going to take my mark jacobs the blush brush because this is also an angled brush and i'm literally just going to mix the two this is another weird thing for me because i always do highlight after blush i feel like doing blush last actually really melds the bronzer and highlight together nicely and it just looks a little bit more together so now guys, of course, the important part of a summer glowy look is going to be the glow, obviously. So I'm going to be taking the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. I do not have the Stila Highlighter, but I know it is a cream one. So I'm instead just going to take the Too Faced Cream one. This is the Peach Frost Happy Face Cream Highlight, Cream to Powder. I'm not sure. And I'm going to take this on a Morphe Y10. I also don't have a Y10 brush, so I'm just going to take this NYX 05 brush, which is basically the same thing. You guys know I have used this highlighter in past videos. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I haven't tried the Stila one, so I can't really comment on them. But I personally don't like this. I feel like, look how much I'm digging. Why? Is it me? I don't think so. Oh my god, that is blinding. I wish I could say the same. Okay, that's literally just taken everything off my nose. Fuck yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Siberian Gold Highlighter. So I'm actually going to take Uranus by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA. They collab together. And I'm also going to take this on a fan brush. This is just a Morphe Y13 because Manny MUA took it on a fan brush. Oh, there we go. I really, really, really love this highlighter. And I'm going to spray my face with the prep and set. And then I'm going to grab the same sponge I was using earlier and press that over this because it really ensures makeup lasts a long time. So I actually really like this trick. I think I'm going to use that again. I feel like my skin looks better than it did 10 minutes ago, but it's still not great. But I do like all of this. So now I'm going to go do my brows off of camera because that takes so fucking long and I'll be right back. So I'm also going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I will be right back. So guys, I just went ahead and threw it on my brow, so now it's time to get into eyes. We're gonna take this Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Row Coco. So I don't have that. So I'm instead gonna take the Buxom eyeliner in the shade Here's My Number. Actually, we're gonna put that on the lash line first, like really close to the lash line, guys. About halfway up to the crease, and we're gonna blend that out. This is again another example of how different we are. I would never, ever do this. Now I'm going to take the Morphe 25B palette. This is just a really pretty bronzy palette. I'm going to take the Morphe 15N. So I'm going to pick up this copper shade here. This is Creativity. I'm going to take this really pretty shimmery copper right there, as you can see. Put that right over this. See that? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I look wonderful. So we're going to take any transitioning shades that you guys might like to use in the crease. So then I am also just going to grab a couple of these like transition shades. I'm going to start putting them into the crease. So we can blend out this bronzy look. And this is just really, you guys, this is really not a look that's like so polished and so pretty. This is just kind of like a fun, quick, bronzy eye. It's super easy. I mean, I will give it to him. This is super, super easy. And it does look really, really cool. So now I'll take a larger fluffy brush. I want to take these light shades right here. And we're going to blend out that darker shade. And just for some fun, I'm going to add a little bit of this shimmery taupey shade right on top in the center. Now I'm going to take the same eyeliner, blend that. I'm going to go do some lashes off of camera real quick and I'll be right back. So I'm also just going to go ahead and finish my other eye and then I'll put some lashes on and I will be right back. So guys, I just went ahead and did my other eye, did my mascara. In honor of Manny, I did use the Maybelline Big Shot and the lashes I'm wearing are Tati Lashes in the style number three. I absolutely 
love these. I feel like my eye went a little bit more dramatic than Manny's. I don't even know, like it just kind of just happened. I don't know, I really don't. I added a pair of Lily Lashes at Miami. You can use the code Manny MUA if you guys want to, to save some money on it. Or you can use the code Jack. That is totally up to you. So I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Strawberry Liquid Lipstick. So just like Manny, I'm gonna go in with Strawberry from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Do you can see that pigment? Do you? So pigmented. And yeah, guys, this is the final look. This is what it turned out to be. I think the lip looks so pretty with this really bold, intense eye. I just think the whole thing is really, really fun. It's very summer. This is like a really fun summer night out kind of look. I was for sure just about to let Manny do my entire outro while I just sat here and posed. But yeah, guys, like Manny said, that is the end of this video and this is the final look. I really, really enjoy like really super bronzy looks like this with a bright ass red lip, which is why I went with this tutorial in particular, just because I really did like the look. For the most part, I think think everything turned out really nicely the foundation was a little bit questionable but that's because I did apply it with a brush which I don't normally do which I probably wouldn't do again aside from that I'm actually pretty happy with how everything else turned out I feel like I'm definitely gonna try some of the things again like putting bronzer or like a darker powder over unset foundation because I really really like how blended and not like flawless I don't want to go there but I do really like the way this looks but also like the way Manny did the eyes I was just so like unaccustomed to I don't do shit in that order but I'm actually quite Quite liking this. Anyway guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this of me following other YouTubers tutorials then please go ahead and leave that in the comment section just so I know where we are. I don't know how I feel about my nose just being like no bronzer or anything. Manny didn't do it in his video so I didn't do it obviously. I would prefer just like a touch of bronzer on my nose but it's no big deal. We will get through this. If you did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye guys.